Oh boy, we're in for a treat today because I found a video called Karen Thrown Off Plane for Faking Pregnant by Totally Studios, which I've never heard of before. But they caught my attention specifically for their thumbnail, which says fake pregnant Karen thrown from plane. So now I need to know, was this woman thrown from the airplane in midair or was she just kicked off the plane? <laughs> I need to know. This is an important question because it changes the story entirely. By the way, this is the most deserted airport I think I've ever seen. Look at her. I can't believe she's flying pregnant. I don't make the rules, Karen. <sighs> <laughs> oh, I knew we were in for a treat with this. I knew it. This might be my new favorite channel. Also, can I be the first to say that I think the use of the name Karen is overplayed now. <laughs> not all terrible people are named Karen and not all Karens are terrible. There you go. I'm standing up for you, Karens. Also, why does it matter that she's flying pregnant? <laughs> How is that bothering anybody? I can understand if you were like, oh, this person has a newborn baby on the plane. I'm gonna have to deal with a crying baby, which also get him headphones. <laughs> like, it's 2024. But I'm just, I'm so confused with how this affects Karen. Ugh, my back hurts. Oh, honey, maybe we should go sit down? No, I don't want to lose our place in line. Okay, I understand now. <laughs> I understand why the Karen doesn't like the pregnant lady. It's because they both complain and only the Karen can complain. If the pregnant lady complains, it overshadows her. You must be the Adams. What? I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Let me get you something. What? Okay, never, never, ever, 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 ever <laughs> would an airline employee know people in the line. You must be the Adams. Also, I just flew pregnant recently and nobody gave a crap, okay? <laughs> nobody cared. I didn't get special treatment. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Let me get you something. This would be amazing. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. It's okay. Whatever you could do would be great. I'll go get a wheelchair. Not only are <laughs> Wait, what was that? These two guys were like, I just really want to be in the Not video. Not only are they letting her fly, they're giving her special treatment. Special uh, treatment? What do you mean? They're giving her a wheelchair. Why don't they just throw her a party or something? Does she say this to disabled people as well? They're disabled and they get a wheelchair. Why, why don't they just throw them a party? Well, I don't run the airline. What do you want me to do? Guys, you need to go say mind. something about this. Karen doesn't think a pregnant lady should fly. But Why? What is she going to do about it? I don't know. <laughs> I Here, honestly we don't. For our special passengers. Oh, you don't have to. Oh, honey, go ahead. Oh, great. Now they're giving her a wheelchair. Do you know how hard I had to work to get you that handicapped parking sticker? Honey, I'm not handicapped. They don't know that. Never mind, I do take it back. She does probably complain that disabled and handicapped people have to use wheelchairs and not her. How could they? It's probably, how are they flying as well? You know, let me check on if we have any open seats in first class for you. Really? What? First class? What? First class? Now they're giving her first class? All right, I'm on Karen's side. I've never been offered. I've never, nobody, nobody has ever been offered first class just because they were pregnant. I mean, I don't know, maybe somebody, but nobody I know. Now they're giving her first class? Uh, well, I think that they're just trying to make her more comfortable. Nobody gave me first class tickets when I was pregnant. Me neither, Karen. I'm pregnant right now. I was pregnant when I flew a couple months ago. Where was my first class seat? Why don't you two go wait over there? I'll come and get you when we're ready to do priority boarding. Oh, oh priority. This priority. is so nice. It's also not existed because this has never happened. <laughs> oh, the random passengers no again. Hi, how may I help you? We're Karen and Harold Williams. We'd like a first class upgrade also. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. All those seats are reserved for our platinum flyers. Platinum? Is that woman over there platinum? <laughs> no, but... This is the face of a man who is trapped in a mental hellscape because he's married to this. <laughs> she requires special care. Well, so do I. No, oh, yeah? it's just that she's with baby. She's with well, baby. Well, if she's with a baby, she's she with should child. be two tickets. What? <laughs> this is like, I mean, that makes sense. No, she's pregnant. We take special care of moms. Do well, you? I'm a mom. Where's my first class? Where's my wheelchair? Ma'am, I already told you about first class and wheelchairs are only for handicapped passengers. Well, my husband's <laughs> Well, you just gave it to a pregnant lady, so that's not true. Well, my husband's handicapped. Tell him, Harold. Uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah, that, that's me. Handicapped 
Harold over here. Oh my god, this is getting terrible. Paging Amanda Clarkson. Please report to Totally Airlines ticketing counter. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm being Paige. Somebody will be with you shortly. Yeah, get out of there, girl. Get out of there. Ariana, what's going on? I got a priority page. Oh, you didn't hear the news? We have a celebrity VIP <gasps> today. Ooh, I wonder what is it is. Is it Karen this time. and Harold? Athlete? Singer? Actor? Oh, it's a singer. And one of your favorites. Taylor Swift! Who is it? Taylor? <gasps> Harry? Shh. I can't say. He's flying under a fake name. It's Juno Bars. But don't tell anyone. <laughs> Could the possible mystery celebrity be called Bruno Mars by chance? Juno Bars. Fine. Juno Bars. Bruno Mars. I'll see you upstairs. Bruno Mars. If that never comes up again, I'm gonna die. That was so nice of that woman to upgrade our seats. Yeah, that's never happened to us before. I'm so surprised. It's never happened to I'm anybody before. Too. And nervous. Oh, honey, you don't what? need to be nervous. You know the doctor said it was okay to fly. Oh, honey, I'm not nervous about that. I'm nervous about how to decorate the baby's room. I think, uh, I think you're using the wrong emotion there, ma'am. Nervous? Nervous about decorating? Ner nervous? Could have said stressed. You could have said anxious, indecisive, nervous. I'm nervous about how to decorate the baby's room. Pink or blue or both. Did you hear that? M no, honey. What's wrong now? Good. She's already got a baby. What do you mean? What? Meaning she's already got a baby. She's fake pregnant. I'm gonna what? I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to tell the airline. Okay. <laughs> He's so done. If they throw a real pregnancy. Uh, is this where I check in? Oh my God. Is this and the famous man? I got a condo in Miami. Oh, <laughs> Miami, right. Okay. And, and Juno what's the Bars? Name? The name's Juno Bars. Wow, no way. Thought I'd take a trip. And what are you traveling with? <laughs> Nothing at all? No, I packed my jammies. I haven't jumped in my Cadillac. <laughs> Thought I'd put some miles on it. Well, Why Mr. is this Bars, part of the video? We have first class reserved for you. Lucky for you, that's what I like. <laughs> Here's your ticket with VIP access. You can have it all. Oh my Thank god, you. I hate it. I hate all of this. I hate this entire interaction. Open. Uh, excuse me, that woman over there? She shouldn't be in first class. She's faking. I even heard her admitting it. And ma'am, no, what do you expect didn't. me to do about this? Huh? <laughs> Why don't you just ask her for yourself? Here's some waters, man. <laughs> There's all these little side stories going on that I have no idea. What was up with these two guys? I want to know what's going on with them. Sorry to bother you, ma'am, but I have a rather unusual request. Oh, no. Oh, really? What is it? Oh, no. That woman over there says that you're not actually pregnant. What would give her that <laughs> idea? Does this look pregnant to you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. Why don't I just take you to first class right now? Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. <laughs> I can't. It's so ridiculous. Also, I love how every single person in this line is just like done, and then there is this guy. Yeah, can't wait to get on this flight. I heard Bruno Mars might be on it. I'm his biggest fan. Oh, look, Karen, they're letting them on the plane. Why? Because she's pregnant? Just let it go, man. Just let it go. Why are you instigating her? <sighs> This is so relaxing. I could really get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Harold. There's a new airline lady at the podium. Maybe oh, she'll no. give us that same upgrade she gave to that horrible woman. <laughs> what? Why what? do you think she'll do that? Because I'm a doer. Now hand me that duffel bag. Oh, no. What is she doing? Is she gonna fake pregnant? <sighs> Strawberry soda on ice. That's what I like. Oh my god, I hate the side story with Juno bars. Wow, it looks so realistic. I would never know. This will definitely work. Hey, excuse me, miss. Can I get a wheelchair for my wife? Tell him I'm pregnant. I think she knows that, honey. Oh, are you two the pregnant couple on this flight? Why do they know these intimate details? Why do they know these intimate details? I didn't have to mark anywhere that I was pregnant when I flew. This airline is spying on people. Are you two the pregnant couple I also feel like this, this man is about to have a heart attack no. at any moment. Y yes, we're pregnant. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Let me get my counterpart Amanda to help you. Oh, no. She knows all about that. No, 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 no. Not her. Right, honey? Oh, it's just that we were going to upgrade you to first class. Yes, that's the plan. <laughs> Come on, honey, it worked. Oh, another couple? Right this way, Mr. Bars, to first class. That's what I like. That's oh my god, I hate I it. Like. I hate it. I hate it. Your seat is right. What are you doing here? This is first class, where I belong. Ma'am. <laughs> Who's the no, man next to her? I have VIP reserved for this seat. What do you expect me to do? No, your seat's over there. Sir, I'm gonna need you to move. What? 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 There you are, Mr. Bars. I <laughs> got your seat cleared for you. This man looks like he's about to have a panic attack. That's what I like. Sir, <laughs> you need to get up. We have a pregnant woman who needs to sit there. Yes, you have a pregnant woman. She's sitting right next to me. No, another pregnant woman. You need to get up and move to coach. What? Another pregnant woman. Fine. Another pregnant woman. Bed. What are you doing here? I was gonna say the same thing. I'm pregnant. Me too. <laughs> I just realized him and her sat together in the airport and now he's sitting between these two ladies and she's looking really upset. What happened? I need to know all of these side stories. There's too much happening. Excuse me, would you like any beverage service? Yes, hi. Can we get two Canyon Sunsets? And a Diet Coke. Oh, gosh, I'm out of cups. What? What airline is this? Hey, can I get you a drink? Oh, my bad. We have no cups. Goodbye. <laughs> so how far along are you? This isn't my first time pregnant, you know? Oh, does it get easier the second time around? I don't know. I've never gotten free upgrades before. Oh, it looks like we're getting ready to take off. Well, I better go use the bathroom. You know how it is when you're with child. <laughs> She's so aggressive. That is true. That is the one true thing that I've heard from this entire video. <laughs> Peeing all the time. And thus, you should pee at the very last second before they stop letting you pee on a plane. Because you will regret it later. Now what's happening? Why? Sorry, I couldn't help. I've been dealing with two pregnant ladies in first class. Two pregnant ladies? I thought we only had one. Yeah, I thought we only had one in the books, but turns out there were two. Wait a minute, something's going on. Yeah, you're damn right something's going on. Why do you know anybody is pregnant on this plane? You shouldn't know that information. Mrs. Williams, what are you doing in first class? They upgraded me because I'm pregnant. No, you're not. She's the pregnant one. Yeah, remember? <laughs> so am I. Oh my we god. We will deal with you in a minute. You need to intercom Captain Connors. Somebody's getting kicked off this plane. Oh. oh. Mrs. Williams. Oh man, Mrs. they're Williams. not gonna kick her oh, from her. the plane in we the know air. We it's you, and we know you're faking pregnant. No, I'm not. Obviously, I'm more pregnant than her. Nobody's buying it. We're kicking you off this flight. What? You literally showed everybody that you are Karen pregnant. Karen off the plane for faking pregnant. Oh, what? No way. And uh, that's how it ended. <laughs> the end. But I was suggested this video next. Karen kicked off plane for crying baby. Surprise at the end. But then again, the thumbnail says crying baby is thrown from plane. <laughs> and I need to know which of these is correct. Because I'm terrified for this baby. So yeah, let's see if things get better for moms on airplanes when they're not pregnant. Oh, I can't believe Harper gets to fly for the first time today. <laughs> and we're gonna go see grandma in Orlando. <laughs> oh, Are they a like couple? The hungry. Yeah, would you go get her bottle? Uh, yeah, thanks. Or is it Look like a sister or a friend? That baby over there. Oh my oh, God, disgusting. Adorable. Who wants to fly on a plane with a crying baby? Baby's I'm sure it'll crying. be fine. The baby seems pretty well behaved right now. Yeah. Hi. You must be Gretchen. Yes, I am. Oh, Who another side story about oh, the Kayla. stewardesses. It's my first time on the New York to Orlando run. <gasps> that was the flight that I took a couple months ago. I hope you like it. There are a lot of messy kids. I'm so excited. There are a Why lot of kids on that flight. Think of all of the theme parks on our layovers. I love Roller coasters. Oh, I love this lady. That is the reason why we're leaving New York and retiring in Orlando to get away from little kids. Well, after driving the school bus for 30 years, I've gotten to like kids. 
Poor hey, guy. Why don't you keep it down over there? What? Did the battery run out in your hearing aid? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm now on the other people's <laughs> side because this woman is horrible for no reason. Why? Why did she just? Why? What? Did the battery run out in your hearing aid? Well, I never. Well, maybe Me you should try it sometime. You wouldn't be so uptight. All these people are just watching. They're like, yeah, what is it? There is a woman over there that wants to take a baby on this oh flight. Oh my God. So what's wrong with a baby? <laughs> um, everything. Isn't she supposed to have a carrier or a car seat or something? No, a car seat would require a separate ticket for a baby. That's right. Tell her she can't bring a baby. What? Airline regulations allow her clearly to fly with an infant on her lap. Well, aren't we supposed to pay for carry-on bags? Isn't the baby considered a carry-on? <gasps> no, babies are not considered carry-ons. <laughs> Put it in the overhead bin. She's on an unrestricted ticket. Mrs. It's actually Mr. and Mrs. Becker, and this is not the first time we've flown on this airline. Well, then you should know that there are babies and or children on flights, <laughs> especially going to Orlando. Becker, Becker, Becker. Oh, here you are. You're on a basic economy ticket. Oh, burn! What are you doing with carry-on bags? Oh, burn! Oh, <laughs> that's fine. We just forgot to check them. Well, you'll have to go downstairs and check them in. Oh, Check burn. them. That's like fifty dollars a bag. What else were you gonna well, do? The only way to bring them is to prepay, <laughs> be on an unrestricted ticket, or be an airline credit card holder. So the well, it's stewardess too late hates for her. That. So what are we supposed to do now? Go check your bags. Oh, it's this. <laughs> Is this like B-roll that they either shot and then reused multiple times? It's the same guy! Look at him! He's so happy to be there at the end! How come she gets to board first? That's the way they do it, honey. Because when you have a small child, it takes forever to get onto the plane and settled. And if you go on at the same time as everybody else, then you hold everybody else up and then you get everybody else mad. <laughs> oh, honey, look what they forgot. Oh, I'll take care of it. Oh, God. Why would you do that? The baby's gonna cry now. You just caused the problem you were worried about. Right there, honey. Because the baby's not gonna have what? anything to drink. Behind them? Oh, my God. I thought he was gonna drop the bag on the baby. I got so scared. <laughs> of course, they're sitting behind them. It's okay. I'll calm her down. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round Well and done, round. Mom. I don't know what's worse. What, honey? The baby crying or her singing? Shh. Can't you tell there's a baby trying to sleep up here? Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, no. Can I help you? Yes, I think there's a seating mistake. We didn't buy tickets in the children's the husband. section. husband. Uh, ma'am, there is no children's section. The whole flight is open to families. Why would there be families flying to Orlando? My husband is retiring down there. Why? <laughs> Why would any child want to go to Orlando? I mean, I know Disney is there and Universal Studios, but why would any child want to be there? It doesn't make any sense. Old retired people are supposed to be there only. My husband is retiring down there. I don't make the seat assignments. Also, why is her retire? Why is her husband passengers. retiring without her? Have a nice flight. Oh my God, he's getting away from her. Good for you, man. I feel like this is supposed to be like a Darman type video. Oh no, they're in the air this time. They're in the air this time. I'm getting scared for the baby. Is little Harper okay? Oh no, I think the cabin pressure's getting to her ears. It's Mr. Giraffe. Say hi to Mr. Giraffe. I love the husband's like. This is great entertainment. Really, must they do that? Honey, babies don't cry on schedule. Well, they shouldn't cry on a plane. <sighs> Jessica, it's not working. Can you grab her bottle? Yeah. Ash, it's not in here. What do you mean it's not in there? Oh my God. <laughs> Amateur mistake. You didn't bring more than one oh, bottle? No. More than one formula? Amateur I, I mistake. Can I help you? Do you guys have any baby formula? Baby formula? What for? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Why would you need baby formula? Do you want to drink it? Are you gonna pour it on yourself? <laughs> what could you possibly need that for? Also, why the airline would not have that. Why are you asking? Baby formula? What for? <laughs> uh, for the baby? Uh, let me check. Can you two keep it down up there? Uh, there are three of us? And who asked you anyway? You know, you're not the only ones on the plane. Gretchen, I have a passenger asking for baby formula. No, we don't have baby formula. Ugh, a terrible so airline. Sorry. I thought they were four mothers, they said in the last video. What? No formula? Can't you see the baby's crying? Do you have any this milk? Is the most ridiculous interaction. Here we go. All right. Yay! Oh, yeah, you can't working. just you can't you're... just swap from formula okay. to milk. It's not gonna work. Oh my gosh, I think she's gonna be sick. Oops! Oh baby, are you okay? <laughs> That's it. I'm not taking this anymore. How did they go from having two seats to three oh, seats? Excuse me. Oh, it's you. I have a request. Sure. What is it? <laughs> We're sitting behind a woman with a baby. Can we be relocated? Well, I have no other seats together. Is it okay if I separate you? Um, separate us? Uh, no, we can't do that. Can't you just move her? Oh, come on. No. Where am I supposed to move her and the baby? Why don't you just put them in the bathroom? That way she can change her diapers and we can all have peace and quiet. I can't put them in the bathroom. That's against regulations. Oh, this is no use. That's the reason? Not just because it's wrong? Why don't you feed the baby yourself? She's like, I'm not allowed. I've thought about it. I checked. You sit over here at the window, and I'll walk you out. Oh, there is three seats. Those are the nicest airline seats. Are those gaming chairs? She's not crying anymore. Oh, she's happy. She was just hungry. What's gonna happen? I'm so scared. What do you think you're doing? She's feeding her baby. It's what you're supposed to do. There's no food allowed on the plane. Oh my God. Oh, yes, is there is. There Excuse is food me, allowed on plane. Really? What is it? There's a woman breastfeeding in oh aisle 22. Oh my God. You need to get your boss right now. Gretchen? Yes, Kayla. <laughs> that woman in aisle 23, she's complaining about another the passenger. The stewardess is done. 23, Becker. Hmm. Somehow I'm not surprised. She's angry because another Just throw her out of the plane. is breastfeeding. I need to what? see it happen. Breastfeeding? Yes, she asked me to tell you. Looks like we have to kick somebody off this flight. First, the baby's crying. And oh my god. She's exposing herself. Oh my and god. Somebody's disrupting the entire flight. Sounds like we need to remove somebody from this flight. Captain Thomas. We're getting rid of the baby. Passengers, due to an unforeseen circumstance, we will be making a unscheduled landing in Charlotte. Okay, you two. It's time to get off the plane. I guess your trip's over. I can't believe they're making us leave. I love how the stewardess hasn't clarified nice yet. Charlotte. You aren't the two I was talking about. What? Oh my Who god, are you no talking way. About? I'm talking about you two. I thought they were gonna eject Why the baby from the plane. Because you're a disruption to all the passengers. We aren't. She is. Are you gonna go or do I need to call the air marshals? Call the air marshals. Come marshal. on, Owen, let's go. Let your husband stay. He's retiring, not you. So what lesson did we learn today from both of those videos? None. I learned none. <laughs>